Good morning and welcome to Easter Sunday, the most joyful day ever. It's the day where we say, He has risen indeed. He rose from the dead. He conquered death. And because he loved us so much, he made sure that we could have eternal life with him forever if we believe this good news. I am way too excited about this day. And so I want to go right to where the truth is. This whole story is recorded in the Bible. And today we're going to read about it from Matthew. And it tells us exactly what happened on that most special Easter Sunday, that resurrection day, when Jesus performed the most incredible saving miracle ever. Let's go. The passage today is from Matthew 28 verses 1 to 10. Remember, Jesus had died on the cross and had been dead for three days in the tomb. After the Sabbath, as Sunday morning was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to go look at the tomb. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord appeared and came down from heaven, rolled the stone away and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they trembled and became like dead men. The angel said, you must not be afraid. I know you were looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised, just as he said. Go quickly now and tell his disciples. He has been raised from death. Now he is going to Galilee ahead of you. There you will see him. Remember what I have told you. So they left the tomb in a hurry, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Peace be with you, he said. They came up to him, took a hold of his feet and worshipped him. Do not be afraid. Go on and tell my brothers in Galilee and there they will see me. I love this story so much because it tells me three things that have changed my life forever. One, that Jesus loves me. Two, that he's strong enough to save me. And three, that Jesus keeps his promises. Do you know that since the beginning of the world, God was promised that he was going to save everyone and that he loved people so much that no matter what they did, he was still going to save them. That's a pretty incredible promise. And it's what we celebrate today on Easter Sunday, that his promise came true. He did save us and he does love us so much. So we're going to make a craft today that helps us remember that. We're going to make the empty tomb and then do something special on it at the end. For this craft, you're going to need a plastic or paper plate. You're going to need a spare piece of paper. If you have a stapler, you can bring that. Otherwise, some sticky tape will be fine. Some scissors, some colored pencils and a cup. So first off, we're going to cut our paper plate in half because that's going to be our empty tomb. So grab your scissors and I like to fold the plate a little bit like that in half so I can see where I'm going to cut, 
cut and then I'm going to chop, chop, chop right through the middle. Here we go. There we go. I've got my two halves of the plate. Then what I'm going to do is take my stapler, or if you don't have a stapler, just use some sticky tape and staple those parts together just on the side there. So I've got one bit. Oh, I'll staple that. And then I'll staple my other side here. There we go. There's my tomb. Then what we're going to do is just get our piece of paper and we need to make the rock that was a miracle that the angel rolled away from the tomb to show that Jesus wasn't there anymore. So to help us make that, we're going to use our cup and we're going to put it just at the bottom of the page like this. Then I'm going to get one of my pencils and draw around the cup. There we go. Now I can cut this part out. That part of the tomb, we're going to stick it on. But first, remember, Jesus wasn't in there. So I'm going to cut a little opening in the tomb, just in the front here. I'm going to oh, cut it open. It doesn't have to be super neat. Remember, it was some rock. So I've got that there. And then I'm going to sticky tape or staple that rock piece away so we'll be able to see inside. Now the part of this story which I love the most was when the angel came and said to the women, he is risen. So when we open our tomb just like that, Inside, we're going to put a little piece that says he is risen. That's our memory verse to the day. I'm going to go write mine and then I'll show you when I come back. I've written my memory verse now. He has risen, Matthew 28 verse 6. And now I'm going to stick it inside my tomb so that I remember that Jesus had defeated death when he rose on Easter Sunday. So I'm going to get some of my sticky tape and sticky tape it one piece down the bottom there so it fits. And then another piece I'm going to get right in my tomb to stick it up the top so that when I open it up, I can see and remember Jesus wasn't in there. He had risen. God promised to save us and he kept his promise in the most miraculous way possible. But did you know that God has actually promised us lots of things? He promises to love us. He promises to give us peace. He promises that he will be with us. And he even says that he promises to come back and be with us again. These are some things that I love to remember on Easter Sunday. Because I believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead, I also believe in all the other promises in the Bible. These are things that I'm going to stick on the back of my tomb. I want to grab that sticky tape again and you can write the promises that I wrote or there's actually many, many more in the Bible. You could look for yourself for your own promises that you want to write and put them on the tomb. I'm going to start with these ones now. I'm going to get my tape. There we go. I've put them on the back to remind me of all of the exciting and wonderful gifts that God has given me because I believe in what Jesus did for me on Easter Sunday. So this is the prayer that I'm going to pray for Easter Sunday. It's going to be a thank you prayer. And if you want to join me, I'll pause so that you can say the words too. Dear Father, thank you that Jesus rose from the dead. Thank you that you love us so much that you sent Jesus to save us. 
Thank you for keeping your promises. It's so exciting that we get to now live forever with you. Amen. I hope that you've had a wonderful Easter. I hope as well that the things that we've talked about are things that you don't just think about on the Easter holiday, but that you think about every day of the year because God does not change. I've loved sharing this Easter story with you and the excitement that comes from Jesus dying on the cross and rising again. And I hope that this is a story that's special for you as well. See you later.